Okay, King of Cups in reverse. So this is someone who's being closed off or um, someone who is trying to control the situation um, because maybe they're feeling emotionally unstable or they're trying to control the situation through something to do with emotions, playing on your emotions, emotionally withdrawing, that sort of thing. Um, usually the King of Cups in reverse, he behaves like a bit of a douche, but the reason is fear. So already I'm seeing your person feels maybe a lack of control within this connection. Let me just put the light on. So you know how sometimes people can become really um, obsessive about one particular thing and everyone around them is saying, why are you so focused on this? And for the person, it's because they feel that that's the one thing they, they have some agency over, that they have control over. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So you may have reached out and found that this person blocked you. They might quite literally be blocking you, you know, on their phone, something like that or energetically you can feel them pushing away this could also be switched so i have to say you know this is a general reading only take what resonates if anything makes you feel weird bad funny just turn the video off you know you don't need that okay so maybe you've blocked them and they're wanting to communicate and <laughs> and they found that they can't and you know they're panicking they're freaking out maybe they've pulled back um or it could be switched. You want to, to reach out to them, you want to hear from them, but you feel that they're kind of being guarded or keeping you at a distance right now. Okay, what else, please? What is this person feeling? What are they thinking, please? Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. It's quite bright, isn't it? We have the Six of Swords. And we have the star. So we have Aquarius energy here. Yeah, I'm feeling this person may have pulled away, actually. Um, but what they're not telling you is they have a lot of hope for this connection. They're hoping you will reconnect. They're hoping to come out of silence. Or if you are speaking, they're hoping to have a good conversation with you about what's going on, what they're feeling. Um, but they're, it's like they're giving you mixed messages. What they're showing you is that they're at a distance. Maybe they're not open to communicating. And we have the lovers, you see. They do have hope. Gemini energy. Feeling Pisces energy as well. Someone might have a choice to make. Let me go in and clarify, actually. Let's stick with this one. Yeah, someone has to get out of some kind of commitment, whether it's a commitment to a person, job, culture, religion, you know, that sort of thing. Tell me about the lovers, please, with the Knight of Cups, the Son of Cups. Five of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups. Gosh, so someone here, your person, looks like they made the wrong decision in the past. And you know what it did? It helped them to be less stressed. If they were feeling like they really had to decide something and there was arguments between you or they were arguing with themselves, they chose something. And they thought, okay, good, now my mind is at peace. But you know what? It's only led to regret. Um feeling feeling that they made the wrong decision so if they chose something else or someone else over you um there's regret and look a real real desire to talk okay so why is this person at a distance then from my view or why are they being a little bit closed off here tell me about the seven of wands please king of pentacles because of this whatever they chose they're now practically, financially, in whatever sense, tied up in this other situation. So they have become some sort of provider. They have some sort of responsibility here. And because of that, they're keeping your connection at a distance. But, you know, it's like they want to flip it. They want your connection and they want to get rid of whatever this other situation is that they chose. We've got Leo energy here on the back. Absolutely. Look at this underneath. Oh, my goodness, we could keep going. We've got the Ten of Coins in the reverse and we have the Ten of Swords in the upright. So what you might not see because, you know, something is obscured here with the sun being in reverse is that your person's um, situation, whatever it is there, this King of Pentacles figure too, it's not doing so well. It's actually ending. It's painful. It's broken. Gosh. So no wonder they're in this Five of Cups energy. It's like a double regret you know they chose wrong in the first place they should have given more to your connection and not only that and are they missing you but also the thing that they've been giving to is um failing if i'm honest wow okay so what is it they want to say then what does this person want to say what hasn't been said 
Okay, so they've been wearing a mask and they want you to now see behind the mask. Again, here is this fear, uncertainty, anxiety. It's like they want to just tell you about this and thereby, you know, release themselves. Because if they just say, I don't have all the answers, I'm feeling confused, I'm feeling worried, hopefully you will come forward and, you know, help to ease their mind and reassure them that you're both still in this together. Now, of course... This is going to depend on you and how you feel, but it's almost like before they were, I just, I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I just heard the exact phrase, they were trying to be the big man in town. Now, I don't know, take that if it resonates. I feel it's a specific message for someone who uses that expression or their person has said that or something like that. And of course, not all of you will be dealing with a man, but that's so funny. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, your your person may have been trying to wear the mask, pretend they know exactly what's going on, control the situation, deep down trying to hide distress, fear, anxiety. They've got themselves into a pickle, to say the least, and they're hoping that, um, oh, someone's called Pickle. Does someone have a pickle? Um, a pickle. A pet called Pickle. That's what I'm feeling. Um, let me know if you do. Okay, and they're hoping that if they share these doubts with you now, that you can just soothe them, comfort them, and they can kind of just breathe a sigh of relief. Now, the thing is, you never you never told them they had to bear all of this responsibility or figure it out by themselves. But this is probably coming from their wounding, you know? Maybe they always have had to be the one who, um, who figures things out, who knows exactly what to do. Okay, and look, for uh, Pentacles Reverse, they're wanting to open up to you now. So tell me about the star. What are their hopes here? Okay, we have four of cups. So they're hoping it's not too late. They're hoping they are hoping that they can do a U-turn and that you're still here extending your cup to them. Again, for some of you, it will be a yes. For others, you'll be saying absolutely not. You know, I'm not second best. I, I've been waiting too long, however you feel. But that's what they're hoping. Tell me about this six of swords the moon oh my goodness wow some of them properly just pulled back and ghosted you huh the moon pisces energy that came through earlier and and maybe they just sort of went silent and you were thinking what on earth is going on there's so much i don't know but with the world in reverse for your person it was never really over wherever they went they always carried you with them yeah and look cause themselves and probably use some pain in the process right so let's see, what exactly are they thinking of doing? What action might they take? Because it's all very well, you know, feeling these things, but what are they going to do about it? Okay. Spirit, can you please show us the person my viewer is thinking of? What action are they considering taking? What are they likely to do here? Knight of Wands in reverse. So they don't want to do anything hasty. They don't want to rush anything. They're saying, I don't want to come zooming in like a crazy person without a plan. And then I have to fall back. And um, it's, you know, it would just be a disappointment for both of us. Okay, so what else, please? Page of Wands in the reverse. So they have a lot of passion, fire desire for you that they're holding on to keeping quiet i think all you're really seeing of this person right now is that they're taking care of things the family they're working you know whatever they're doing here and that's it um but we know that that things aren't really going so well for them and actually that they're hopeful that they can have another chance with you but anyway what action are they likely to take please spirit what is this person thinking of doing Ten of Swords in reverse? Seven of Wands. So they might continue to be a bit guarded, a bit defensive, because they're, they're saying, I know exactly what I want, but I don't know what I, how can I change this? What do I do differently? On the back, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So their biggest hope right now is that they can start to, to feel more hopeful, to see what they can do you know they have they feel the inspiration but they're saying how do i translate this into action what do i do with this hope this desire yeah there's that five of cups again so for me that's very similar to the two of cups energy so this person you know they don't want to rush anything waste any opportunities because they might be um testing your the limits of your patience right now and um, they don't want to dive in with their last chance and mess it up 
Um, and I, you know, I feel it's taken them a while to realize that this is a soul connection. They've had to go on a bit of a journey here. Um, but yeah, see, it comes back to that four of cups, hoping that you can have another go, hoping to balance things out, to bring healing. We've got Sagittarius energy here. Some of them, if they're religious or spiritual, could be praying, asking for guidance, you know, that sort of thing. This feels like an energy to me of someone who was all about a good time, starting things, not finishing them, being a bit of a player, at least when it came to things like love, romance, flirtation. And now they're saying, I, I want to change that. Um, how? How do I step my game up from a knight of cups to a king of cups? So I'm seeing the action they're taking right now is a lot of pondering, a lot of thinking behind the scenes, and a lot of... Um, actually in a sense trying to sort of push this away and push you away until they feel like okay i've got it i understand because it's like you know both of you want this this ace of wands this brand new exciting forward movement but they're saying if i step forward into this energy too soon i know i'm going to mess it up i'm going to end up being this knight of wands again so um kind of like you know someone who's saying i want to be healthy i just won't buy the chocolate because if it's in the house i'm going to eat it so um, i'm going to resist even though i really want it i'm going to resist until i feel like i'm in a better space um and i know i i, I can resist um yeah, so a lot of thinking. Tell me about this Four of Cups energy, please. Look at this, see? Absolutely, thinking. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Thinking and thinking, okay, how do I do this? What offer can I make? How do I take this leap of faith? How do I step outside of my comfort zone? If there's travel between you, I mean distance, how do they travel towards you? This is someone who doesn't want to rush. And actually, because they're trying to be so diligent right now, they could wait a little bit too long. You might be getting impatient. If you have a look at this um, tree, this bush over here, you can see some of the leaves are going brown. You know, the, the fruit's ready to be harvested. Um, so they're sort of overthinking, actually. You have an overthinker here, at least when it comes to this connection. Tell me about this Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, please. Eight of Swords in reverse. See, they have been overthinking. Tying themselves up in knots. What else? Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse. So I feel communication is going to come in um, once they, they stop going around in circles in their mind and it looks like forward movement will happen through a message a phone call something like that um, something that you receive instantly <laughs> yeah and the four of pentacles so there is you know they've got something to say here and i do believe they're going to say it but for now they are um keeping it to themselves seeming like they're pushing you away when actually they want you to draw you closer and, and trying to figure out what the next best step is. Because look, they have really serious intentions here. This is someone who's thinking about and wanting to invest for the long term, to have you around for a very long time, if not, you know, forever. Okay, so let's see, what do you need to know? Spirit, what does my viewer need to know, please, concerning this connection? What does my viewer need to know? Oh, Ace of Swords, see? Communication, truth, maybe even second chances. And we have Death, Scorpio energy. So this communication is what's needed to bring in a new cycle. We have the chariot on the floor, if I can pick it up, which is Cancer energy here, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, what does my viewer need to know? This person I just had is getting a grip. They're getting a grip on everything going on. Um, oh, wow. Okay, I'll come to that in a minute. Um, getting a grip on everything in their life that feels like it's hectic or getting away from them if they need to come up with a plan this person's saying i'm going to do it i'm going to come up with a plan um i'm going to decide to be successful here and to decide that no matter if i hit a roadblock or a setback i'm going to figure it out and keep on going so this person is determined they're not going to um you know come forward and then give up or something like that 
Okay, what I wanted to say, underneath the Ace of Swords, King of Cups in reverse. So you see, we go back to this message from the beginning that this person behind this either emotional guardedness or manipulation has a truth that they need to and want to speak. And I feel that they will because it's all they can think about right now and they're not going to be happy until they've done it. And we have the sun on the back in the upright. So they're going to bring you illumination, clarity. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. See how they're overthinking? I feel there's been an ending recently between you, at least an ending of a particular cycle. You know, maybe something happened that has happened many times before, but then the other person reacted in a different way. So now it's it's creating something new. And this is actually positive because death brings about a chance for renewal, transformation, um, but it might not seem good in the moment when perhaps it feels like there's been a separation or a tower moment. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they chose something or someone else over you. The Queen of Pentacles as an energy is something that's stable and is grounded. The Queen of Wands as an energy is passion, fire, um, manifestation. You know, the Queen of Wands energy, this is someone we desire, but we haven't necessarily um made anything official here so i feel they wanted you but stepped away from you invested in someone else who now they're realizing might be stable and grounded i'm hearing actually not as much as they seemed but also who is kind of boring you know and i know it sounds trivial to say oh this is boring i'm not going to do it anymore but if it's something we're doing day in, day, day in and day out, you know, a job, um, a relationship, and it takes up a lot of our time and it really is, I nearly swore, really is very boring, um, it, it's kind of soul draining, you know? And if you have no other option, fair enough, but your person does have an option, they can leave whatever that situation is and they're realising that now. But having sort of left you out in the cold, on the back we have the Servant of Swords wearing that mask, being deceptive about their feelings. Um, of course, Nocturnal Confidence did not make you feel appreciated, admired, valued, like a queen or a king of wands. Okay, and we have the Two of Swords. So this person, or this situation, whatever this Queen of Pentacles represents, actually seems to, to not be too aware that your person is really seriously considering getting the hell out of there. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords, please. I feel deep down this person knows, but they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to acknowledge it. Yeah, the Magician in Reverse, Two of Wands. So they know your person has another option, um, the option to not, you know, to leave, basically, to do something else, to be with someone else, so to be with you, but they don't want to see it. The Magician in Reverse, this person is being as controlling as your person was with you in the past. So if we were looking for a deeper reason that your person has involved this third energy, third person, third party, it looks like to help your person learn a lesson. Now, this is something they couldn't have learned with you because you have not been this way with them and you weren't going to be, you know, they had to go elsewhere and be with someone who, if I'm honest, probably values them less or doesn't, you know, doesn't care about them as much, who will be manipulative to achieve their own goals. Um, and again, that could be work, could be a boss, could be a parent, could be a, a lover, spouse, whatever. Um, but this person likes to control your person, doesn't want them going elsewhere, exploring other options. They, they seem to feel quite confident at the moment that they've got your person um, a bit stuck. So even though they know that the person you're thinking of could go off and live another life, they're saying, ah, but they won't because of this and this and this. But behind the scenes, we know your person is doing a lot of thinking and becoming very determined. Right. OK, so let's get you some advice. OK, what spirit, what are your messages of guidance and advice, please, for my viewers in this connection? Okay, so we have, oh, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So for some of you, this might be about getting out there and, you know, flirting with other people, dating people in the meantime, not keeping yourself stuck. That's kind of what I felt when I first looked at this. But for others of you, those cu Cupid's arrows, the eight of wands, sometimes in tarot, we call these Cupid's arrows. So it's like spirit saying, this message is going to come in, it's going to strike you, possibly when you've, you know, you're, you're not even expecting it. So some communication is coming in. Okay. What else, please?
Okay, so this is the image on the front. And we have reflection. Yeah, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So even if with death there's been this, this sort of ending um, or temporary separation, Spirit saying this is actually for the best. This is part of the plan. This person being involved in this third energy, third party situation, giving a lot of their time over there, that's part of the plan as well. Okay. So let's get you one of these cards. Oh my goodness. Nice. We have Miracle. So this is the yellow, which is the solar plexus. I will figure this out. I know there's a lot of glare at the moment. I need to sort of figure out the lighting with this going back to this angle. But let me, um, I think I want to read from the book. Where is the book? Not there. What? Oh, okay. It's on the floor for some unknown reason. Okay, let's see what this says. Okay, Darkville is a town of self, oh, self-centered self people. One day, Betty is given too much change after making a purchase and she returns the extra money. A brilliant light bursts from the stump of a dead oak tree in the center of the town. The citizens are bewildered by the sudden brightness, but neither question the sun, the sun sparkler nor change their cheating ways. One day, a child asks it why it came. It tells her that it shines for all that is good in the world and appears when a good deed occurs. The residents of Darkville are touched and become more selfless. Okay, so maybe you're like a light in this person's life. And look, it says integrity is what turns on the light. This person, I don't think they behaved with the most integrity in the past. And again, I'm not saying, oh, it's their fault, they're a bad person. I feel it came from a wounding, a kind of conditioning. And um, maybe they didn't realise the effect of, of being this way on you. And they had to experience this for themselves. You know, somebody being that way with them. Okay, um, yeah, and so key ideas, being a light, lighting the way for others, coming miracles. Okay, nice. So some of you might feel that, that you know, Cupid's arrows getting um, messages might be something of a miracle as well. Also, with the solar plexus area coming out, solar plexus chakra, um, if there's anything you're feeling inspired about, excited about, I say go for it. You know, even if, um, just dive in, even if you don't know where to start and uh, see how it goes. Okay. We have nurture. Yes, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activity activities are important for you right now. I feel this is nurturing your own inner child. You know, what does your inner child want to do to explore right now? Taking care of yourself. If you have been very giving, very nurturing. And I do feel like you have been. Maybe in general you are. Maybe you're an empath. Um, or just, you know, very empathic. And you, you care about your loved ones a lot. Um, but I think you've been very giving, generous with this connection. You know, coming up as that Queen of Cups energy. And Spirit saying... That's great, but please don't neglect yourself. Teaching and learning, yes. Okay, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. So absolutely, I feel there's something you might want to learn, to explore, um, or to develop you know, further in, and spirits saying go for it. Or if you already know about something, maybe you're feeling drawn to teach and inspire others. Okay, and we have divine order. Yeah, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So yeah, this third party, um, you know, that your person seeming like they're at a distance, you've pushed them away or they've pushed you away. It's all happening as it should. We have a few. We have take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Chakra clearing, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric geometric shapes. And this is Archangel Metatron. So you might be carrying around a bit of energetic clutter, particularly with all this care um, for other people. And we have overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay, so before we go, let me just pour you one or two of these animal spirit guide messages. Oh, actually, I've got the one question, one card to do. So thank you for all of your questions. As usual, if you'd like to enter for Wednesday, please just leave your question in the comments and I will enter you into the draw. It's all unbiased. I just run it through um, a program on the computer. You can have a look at the video below if you'd like to see how I do it. Okay, we have mouse. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting because I actually feel that you're going to gain more perspective at this time um, from allowing yourself to take a step back and focusing on, you know, some sort of passion, hobby, work, whatever you're, you've got going on here with this teaching and learning, nurturing, taking back your power. <clears throat> I think really this is this is saying that there's, there are some details behind the scenes that you're not aware of that this person needs to um, share with you. we have two more we have snow leopard yeah take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude and we have seagull now is the time for deep emotional healing so do something that's healing for you whether it's an activity whether it's the, the exact opposite and it's just more sleeping more resting um but really invest in yourself right now and i feel that that clarity will come in you know when it's sort of meant to here there's a lot more communication to be said there's um a lot of opening up your person is needing to do but most importantly now they're wanting to it's almost like they wore this mask so well they got themselves all tangled up in it and now they're saying how on earth do i unravel this how do i just be my authentic self but they will figure it out with the chariot um, and in the meantime, it looks like you're you're doing something fun here and really taking care of yourself. Okay, so that's everything for today. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for spending your time here. Um, I'm going to pause, clear these away and do the one question, one card. Okay, so today's winner is Charlie Pierce. So thank you for your question, Charlie. So you said that you've been seeing lots of synchronicities recently, specifically number synchronicities, like 333, 555, 22 and 44. So what does it mean? And sometimes you see it while you're thinking of your person. So the first thing I would say is, if you're thinking of your person and you see the synchronicity, I would stop and ask yourself, what were you just thinking? How did it feel? Maybe it's a message, you know, yes, continue on that path or change your thinking or something like that. Also, um, I know it's quite general to look up online, you know, 22, what does, the, what does it mean? But um, my thinking with that is there are so many different sites talking about number synchronicities and what they mean that you're going to be drawn towards the one that's right for you to read at that time so maybe have a look if you haven't already at um at what you can find online what you're drawn to but let's see spirit what are these number synchronicities about please what can you share at this time with charlie about these number synchronicities we have the king of swords in reverse so it could be something to do with your thinking here maybe spirit is saying to um to change your thinking in some way so let's say you're thinking about your person and you're feeling maybe a bit um dejected it could be saying um focus on what you want to attract or you're feeling hopeful but you're saying to yourself i'm not sure how this is ever going to work out maybe change that part of of the um of the thinking let's see what else please I believe just looking, fives obviously are about change, 22 I think is partnership, fours are about stability, and 333 three, three, I believe that's a really, um, it's like a master number, um, and tells you you've got, yes, a lot of support and help, so we have temperance, the card of the archangels here. So I feel, Charlie, this is actually really fantastic, spirit is saying... You have the support of the divine, so you've got archangels, guardian angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your higher self, really make use, think of these as resources, you know, and not to sound like I'm exploiting <laughs> the 5D or anything, but they are, they all, they're all here wanting to support you, so call on them, work with them, um, you know, ask them for guidance, help, you know, set the intention to get messages through your dreams when you're out and about, you know, if you have a tarot deck, you could say, 
you know, what's the best advice for me now and pull a card and see what it is. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, which is, you know, go for it. Um, manifest from the 5D into the 3D, take action, and then you could work on that. And when you feel you're ready the next day or the next week, whatever, pull another card. You know, really use the resources around you. Um, and if you don't have a deck and you wanted to work with tarot, there are, you know, sites where you can pick a card online, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's the first thing. You have a lot of support. You know, I feel this is the 5D, the 4D, even wanting to reach out and connect with you, your ancestors, your guides, saying, we're here, remember us, we can help. We can see things in a way that you can't, like a bird's eye view. Um, also, with your thinking, try to keep it balanced. So you don't want to be... You, you know, you don't want to go so, so high with it and optimistic that you're ungrounded and you just completely come crashing down to earth if something doesn't happen in that half an hour or whatever it is. But at the same time, you don't want to bring your hopes down with doubts and negativity. So um, try to, to keep yourself feeling even here. Um, try to, to stay grounded and really... Um, I just feel this is a really good time. I don't know how far into your own journey you are, you know, your spiritual path or anything like that, if that interests you, but I feel now is a good time to really get serious about it, take it further or begin if you haven't really. I mean, you're here, so I guess you have begun. Um, so yeah, so I just think you've got a, a team of really powerful beings around you, as everyone does, but who are tapping you on the shoulder right now saying, I see you're stuck. I see you're thinking about something. Please, 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 can you invite me in? Because I've got some really, you know, juicy um, information for you here that I want to show you. So that's, I think this is, this is really positive, really exciting. And this is a time for you to be feeling empowered and to be seeing um, your thoughts, ideas, your hopes for your connection paying off, you know, to, to make them tangible, things you can, um, you know, for some reason I keep hearing mark on a calendar so I don't know if there's a date that's important that's coming up or something you you want to put a date down in the calendar or you have a hope that you're going to see your person on a particular date but something tangible and I'm seeing a calendar and spirit saying put a date in the calendar so I don't know maybe that resonates but um yeah so I will leave it there I hope that's helpful for you and everyone else thank you so much what for watching um, I will be back on Wednesday with your person's messages for you. So what do they want to tell you, whether you're in communication or not? What is the truth? Um, how are they feeling? What are they going through? You know, all of that. I'm also going to put up a poll. So for the next bonus reading, so that will be um, on the community page if you want to go over and have a look and vote. But yeah, take care and we'll speak soon. Bye.